Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, so today's video is going to be a playoff predictor for uh, who's going to make the um, the college football playoff. So, so essentially, this is like a kind of a. I don't know what kind of algorithm they're using, but it's just a just a, a predictor, I guess. Uh, so it says for so the past eight weeks, they've been painting a week to week picture of which teams have a realistic chance to be in the four of the playoff. Overall, it's been pretty accurate. Uh, all eight champions were given at least a sixty five percent chance to make the playoff before the season started. Uh, using that stat in the criteria below, we give you a chance to pick a team and decide how the season will pan out. According to your choices, the all state playoff predictor will determine how likely that team to be one of the four semifinals. Uh, so teams with less than the two percent chance are not included. So essentially, these are like the 13 teams with the highest chance to make the playoffs with at least a two percent chance. So, if you watched any games this weekend, uh, teams like real, real, listen, I can tell you now, I'm a big Notre Dame fan. Notre Dame is, uh, even if they ran the table, I don't think they'd get in. Um, I mean, they put up a decent fight against uh, Ohio State, but I don't know. We'll see how the season goes, but I don't really think. I think even if they ran the table, a lot has to happen now because they don't have a conference. They don't play a conference title game. I don't I really don't think their schedule is all that great. Um, see, I'm just gonna do. A, I'm gonna do a few teams um, to make it a little interesting. I'll do Notre Dame last, but let's do like uh, let's see, let's do Baylor. So Baylor had a nine percent chance, and then they give you a choice here. How do you think they'll finish the remainder of the season? Uh, so just a little heads up. No team has ever made it with more than one loss. Um, yeah, and then two loss teams have an outside chance. Any more than that? It, 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 basically, if you lose more than two games, unless there's some weird season going on, they'll, they won't... Uh, I don't I don't think... Uh, I don't think a two loss team will ever get into this. That's just how, how it is. Uh, let's see. I think Baylor will have one loss. Just just coming off of last season, I don't think. I don't think they'll have two loss. I mean, even with the teams there. So the next question: Which team do you think they'll lose to? Uh, So apparently these are like the closest games they had, which is these are actually pretty, pretty tough games for them. Um, so they play all three on the road. Um, I give them an edge over Baylor. I mean, over. I'm sorry. I give Baylor a chance. And I give them an edge over Texas because I still don't think Texas is up to up to that level yet. They still I think they got a couple more years to go. Oklahoma is a little a little dark horse because they have that guy from uh from UCF. Who I think he's like a 6-year senior now, I believe, cuz he I think a couple of seasons he got hurt like I forgot it was like a knee or a collarbone. It was something crazy that happened to him. And he he missed like a, a season, and then he missed another season for another injury. And then BYU is sneaky because they they'll, they'll play some games where they're like when they play their A game, they're like really good, but then they'll have really weird off games. Because realistically, you would think BYU would be in this in this conversation every year. But they always end up somehow with like three or four losses. Um, I had to go to Oklahoma with this. 
Uh, does Baylor win his conference title? Um, so it says right here it's not a requirement, but that that's a lie. Most it says right here twenty seven to thirty two of the selections have been conference champions. Uh, you, you kind of gotta win the, the title, especially, especially from a weaker conference. You can get away with that in like the SEC and the Big Ten. Like I don't Pac twelve, um, the the Big Twelve. Uh, I don't think that you can't. I don't think they can pull that off. At least in my opinion. Um, because when this conference title game. I would say yes, they'll repeat. All right, so here's their chances. If it plays out the way I selected, they have an 84% chance to make it and a 6% chance to win it all. Um, yeah, so that's basically how it works. You answer a couple questions, real basic stuff, um, and then, you know, it'll run the, you know, all the data, and it'll let you know it will predict what their chances are for the playoff and what their chances are to win. So it's a little thing I, I saw the, uh, you know, I saw, um, I think I, I was looking at this the other day. I thought, oh, this is pretty cool. It's not, nothing too complicated, just kind of simple. Uh, uh, so let's see. So what is this? Uh, week two games that matter. So yeah, so this is going to be a disaster for Texas. Uh, Notre Dame should bounce back. And, oh, I didn't know this was already, this is week two? Jesus Christ. Okay, I didn't know it was that close. I thought this was, like, later in the season. Oh, uh, okay. But that, I'm going still, to I'm still go with what I pick. I mean, I can't change it, but I still think they'll, they'll win it. It'll be close. Um, so see, they got Texas State. And after that is the conference schedule. See, so yeah, I, I think they'll, I think they'll have one loss somewhere. Like I say, Oklahoma is probably their biggest challenge. But I think, wow, they give, they actually have a lower chance to win against Texas than Oklahoma. Okay, I still think that's, I still think, I don't think that's right. But yeah, I, I, I don't see why. Real, realistically, they get past. I don't see why they couldn't run the table. Because, like I said, Texas and Oklahoma aren't exactly super powerhouses like they used to be. Um, I think the only other game besides, like, the BYU game that scares me is that Oklahoma State game and maybe that Iowa State game because Iowa State has a, they have some weird games. They, they, they can pull some upsets. Uh, but yeah, that's just that's that's the prediction, I guess, for him. Uh, so run the numbers again. Let's see. So let me do. Uh, let me do. So I can't do like Texas and Oklahoma because they overlap. Uh, so let's do USC. They have a five percent chance. How do I think they'll? I mean, the first year I don't. Seeing what happened to Oregon, I really don't. There's really no one else in that conference that that realistically could take. I mean, you have, yeah, like everyone in that conference is pretty mediocre. Uh, the only other team I can think of would be like UCLA, maybe. I think they'll end up. With, one loss. No, you know what? No, because they, they, they play Notre Dame. I don't think that's a loss. I can't pick against Notre Dame. So that's a loss. Uh, I said w- one loss. Yeah, see? And then there, Utah. Oh, I keep forgetting about Utah. But Utah had a, a tough one. I think you, if Utah would have won that game against Florida Saturday, I think I'd have them running the table. Um. But yeah, they're, they're not going to be Notre Dame. Uh, does it win its conference title? Yeah, of course. Like I said, that, that conference is so bad. Other than Utah, there's really no one else. Maybe Oregon will bounce back. But, like, I, I, I trust Utah more than Oregon. 
you, you can't get beat down like that. That's insane. Can't that can't happen? All right, so wow, that's crazy. So they really need to run the table. So they're saying they have a thirty-two percent chance to make the playoff, but only a two percent chance to win it all if they made it. Yeah, that's either not they're not good odds. But yeah, like look at the like the Pac-12 is just so down, man. They haven't been good in years. Stanford might be a challenge, but then they got Fresno. That's not a, a easy dub, but that's like they should be able to get through that. It's at home. Then Oregon State's mediocre. Arizona State is middle of the pack. Washington State, I don't know. Utah is like the really big challenge. Arizona's mediocre. California's mediocre. Colorado, mediocre. Then you got UCLA and Notre Dame. Those are like the, the last challenges they'll get because that's a rivalry game. They're both rivalry games, but that's a UCLA is an in-state rival. And Notre Dame's a, well, that's a normal rival. Uh, okay. Let's do, I'm going to do one more. So we did USC. We did Baylor. Should I do Miami or Penn State? Actually, I'm gonna do Miami because because I, I don't know if you guys watch uh, or listen to a lot of sports stuff, but I I used to listen to a lot of Dan Levitard, and they always every year it's always the same thing with them um, about oh to use back to use here. And they have a big old game, even though it was against Bethune. They put up. 66 points again, Bethune Cookman. Congratulations. You, you did what you were supposed to do. Uh, okay. How does Miami Fisher remain this season? Huh. So this is. So the ACC is actually pretty good. Um, because you got NC State that can play, North Carolina can play. Florida State can play. We saw that against LSU. Uh, you still got Clemson. Wake is a little is a dark horse. Who else you got? Syracuse. They got they they got some they got some heart. They can play. Uh, Pitt. I forgot about Pitt. Um. They got they got a lot of they got a lot of teams that can cause some issues. They I, I, they will they'll slip up. I already know they they're not winning out. I don't think they have that kind of talent yet. So I'm gonna go with two losses. Uh, which two teams does Miami lose to? Oh my god, they play A and M. Why that only? Why that a fifty fifty? And then was top ten last year. What are you? What are they talking about? Because the percentage is the, the chance they have against them. That's insane. Seventy three percent against Pitt. What kind of? Who came up with these numbers? Wasn't Pitt in like the ACC championship game last year? Clemson had a down year last year, and then A and M was a they finished in the top ten, I think. Oh, top 15, I believe. What is it? Bruh, what? All right, they're not beating AM, that's for sure. So well, I feel like they'll beat Clemson and it'll be a big old hoopla. Like, oh my god, we beat we beat Dabo Sweeney. Just to get and then they'll they'll fall apart and they'll lose the next week against whoever they play. I don't think they'll beat Pitt. Uh no, with two lo- no they won't make it with two losses. Well, it's the ACC. I'm not gonna say they have no chance. I'll say they won't make it. They won't win it. Cause I think if t- if it's two two losses against you know division against the conference foes, well A and M is out of conference, so that kind of that saves them. 
when it comes to the conference race. That's how they don't win it. So let's see. Whoa, my God. <laughs> so basically, they have no shot. They have less than 1% to make it, and they have less 1%. Well, basically, they don't make They have less than 1% chance to make the playoff. Which means they have the same amount of chance to win the championship. So, yeah. Less than 1%. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, they got Southern Miss. Um, A and M at A and M. Got Middle Tennessee. So that that should be that should be two wins. That sandwich in between that L. Uh, Carolina has a. I don't, ever since uh, Mac Brown has taken over, they've had some games where they don't play no defense, man. Especially last week, they it was like sixty six to sixty nine or something against uh, Appalachian State. The game they should have lost. That guy, if he throws a better pass, he the receiver won't trip and fall. He catches and they win it. Uh, Virginia Tech, that's at Blacksburg. That's a tough one. Duke, Virginia, Florida State. Oh, they they finish off with Clemson and Pitt. Okay, that changes a lot of stuff. No, not really. Well, that I mean that means that'll be that's that, that means that's gonna be more than two. I, Overestimate them. I know they're not going to be AM. Somewhere between Carolina and Tech and Georgia Tech, they're going to lose again. That's, there's two losses somewhere between it. I don't know if it's Carolina and Florida State or Virginia Tech. It's real tough. I can see them losing. Now that I look at the schedule, there's a lot of L's that could happen. Could happen. That's the ultimate word. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So they have a 73% chance against Pitt. What, why is that so high? That's insane. That, that doesn't make any sense. That number's weird. Uh, but yeah, anyway. So that's just something that's uh, you know, a little something I want to do. So I'm a little, it's a little chill, a little, you know, scenarios. Uh, so apparently they, this will go on. Apparently you can do this week to week. You know, you can change it because right here today is the date or the date I'm recording it. So I guess you check it out every weekend, every, at the end of every week, you know, pick your teams and, you know, do your scenarios, I guess. Uh, so yeah. That's all it is for today. I will see you guys next time.